Welcome to Aqua Blue Boutique. If you guys are new here, you guys don't know who I am. My name is Zua. So welcome to my channel, you guys. Today is the first day that I'm going to be showing you guys my first project for Christmas in July. So I'm going to have a four-part series for Chris, um, Christmas in July for you guys. So the first part is I'm going to be showing you guys how to do personalized stockings. So I did these two stockings uh, for my daughters last year and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on your multi-needle. Um, I have this multi-needle so I'll be showing you guys how I, I do on this one, okay? And I have this hoop right here. I'm not using a mighty hoop today so this is something new. You guys probably haven't seen this. This is a hoop tech. If you guys are not familiar with hoop tech, so they have a whole lot of different hoop attachment, and I like that this one is good for stocking because it has a smaller window because the the space that you're gonna be embroidering it's tiny, and that I need to slide the cuff. Like I don't I don't like to embroider right through the back of the stocking, so I get the stocking with the cuff. So then I can just slip the cuff in like this, like this, to be in border on. So that's how I'm going to do it. And, and then this one has, I will be showing you guys how to do on this one, not, not the mermaid one. But the concept is similar. So you'll be sliding it like this. And then and bordering on the multi needle. If you guys have the single needle, there's some video on that already, and I see, I see people just um, take out the side seam and do it on their single needle. So you guys can check out those video from other people. But for for the purposes of this video today, I'm going to show you guys how I do it on this board machine with this um, hoop that I have from Hoop Tech. So the first thing you guys need to do is go to your computer and you guys need to create the embroidery file. So you guys know that this has some fuzzy on it so you guys will need water soluble and, and then you guys need the program called Embrillas Enthusiast because you guys will have to create like knock down stitch. You guys can see the two difference. This one does not have knock down stitch. So you guys can really see the name really well. And then this one has knock down stitch. So it will knock down a lot of the fur. So then you guys can see the name clear so there we go you guys so that's how um, I prefer this because I want to see the name clearly especially for these type of fonts like really cursive fonts um, so I went to Embrillance and I I created the hoop size so hopefully you can see that right here so I, I created the hoop size because Embrillance does not have this hoop size so you guys can create your hoop size in brilliance. So the hoop size for this is three by six. It's three by six in here. So I want my design to be right in here, okay? So I made my son name and then I already clicked the knockdown stitch. So if you, if you want to make the knockdown stitch, you need to get in brilliance enthusiast. So with that, you once you install it, it's just in your utility, and you just click um, add knockdown stitch. Then I'll just create the knockdown stitch. So let's go to the machine, and I will show you guys how to attach this hoop on. Okay. So you guys. I am at my machine now, and you guys will need this little screw that come with your machine, 
and you guys will have to take this whole handle off because you don't need the handle so make sure you take everything right out okay the the arm I think this is the the um, A arm so you guys need to take all the screw out take out everything so there's three screw make sure you guys keep the screw okay do not lose these let's have a little tray right here just put it on the tray and then there we go it all came off okay let's set that aside So now, make sure that this handle is down, so you guys can slide this in. So there's this little um, little thing right here, I don't know what it's called, but this one needs to rest on, there's like a little clip over here, because this has to rest on it for the machine to recognize. Um, that there's something there, you know. I think that's what it is. I don't know what is this called. Just this little clip right here, and then there will be like a little hand, like a little metal handle. Not a handle, but like something sticking out over here, where it will move down, because it needs to clip onto that. So you just. There we go. Put it on it, and then you're gonna put the two smaller screw on it. So there's this screw. You, I think this one is only for the handle of frame A. So you only need these two screw to help screw this hoop in. And that's all you guys, it's so easy to uh, attach, okay? And then, um, for you to pull the arm up, you're, you have to you have to make sure that the arm is always down because the arm will interfere with this. So you have to, uh, when you turn on the machine, you will... Well, I think I have to on the machine because it's going to scrape. It's sitting right onto my machine. So that's how you attach it. But I wouldn't want to attach it be before I turn on the machine, okay? I don't want to attach it yet. So let's turn on the machine. Because it's not like the Mighty Hoop. Uh, it's gonna scratch this, so I'm gonna turn it on. So I'm gonna turn on the machine first, okay? Because when you turn on the machine, this bar is gonna move back and forth. I do not want this to scratch this part. You see that? The machine's moving. They always do that before, and then you want to want to hit the this thing to pull out. Um, no, you, I don't I guess you don't need to do that. So you just have to put it back on. Yeah, I didn't want that to happen because I know that the machine machine always gonna do that. It will move. So your machine does not do not recognize this frame, okay? So that's where the camera come in come in handy. So make sure you use this to tighten it up. Not too tight, just make it like when you can't turn no more, then just leave it. Okay, so now let's go to the screen. And I'll show you guys what I mean, okay? Hi, you guys. 
So now we're on my screen here and I already saved the file onto this thumb drive. So I'm gonna go over here and gonna put it in. So let's go back over here. So now you guys can see I need to go find the the image. So I'm looking for the file that I made, which is my son named Cloud. So I just click Cloud. So let me zoom in. There we go. So I can just hit Set and then remove this. So now I'm gonna do Edit in and then go click this little icon with not the camera okay because with the camera it's gonna it's gonna take a photo of your stitch area I don't want that because when you hit that it's gonna school like with the biggest area that it can go and sometimes it can damage your handle so I don't like to do that so you guys must be be careful okay so I'm only like to uh, do the live camera this is the live camera So you see that the live camera, okay, it's hitting, it's hitting on the hoop. So I gotta scoot the image down, scoot the image down, right there. So now it's inside the hoop. So I gotta check the side. Yep, it's inside, you guys see? It's inside. And then check this other side. It's inside. Then check the bottom. Yep, it's. And then, yep, so everything's inside. So now we just need to grab the stocking. And I will show you guys how I put the stocking on with the stabilizer, okay? So, you guys, before I hoop, I need to find where I want to do the name. So I measure this across this way and it's about 8 inch so I know that the design is 2 by 4 and then this down is 4 so I just measure uh, 2 inch in so I, I know that I can leave the amount of space it will be the same on each side okay and even on top and bottom so this is 4 inch down and the Name's only two inch. Um, this way, the so this is vertical, yeah, and then horizontal. So for this, I just do an inch from from the bottom and an inch from the top. So then the design will be right at the center. I just mark it with this pen. I do not like. I know that people ask me to use the friction pen. I don't like the fr the friction pen. Could come back. Up when it get cold because it will get away with the heat but then I I have a, a shirt that I use before I never have a mistake but I think I use a red one a red or orange one and the dot was still there so I didn't like that anymore so I try to avoid that um, I know that people like that because you don't have to use water this one you have to use water but this one um, don't come back so I like this one better because this is made for um, marking on garments and you just use put a little bit of water on like a piece of cloth and just dab it and it will just disappear so I like this one more okay so for this since um, this is a really sturdy fabric so I only gonna use tear away and since you're not wearing it so you can just use tear away you don't need um, cut away for this plus the stitch count for this name is only 4400 so 4495,000 4, stitch so you don't need to have a lot of stabilization because the stitch count is under 10,000 so I just placed the Stabilize it in there and then we're gonna go to my machine gun and hoop this up Okay, you guys so 
This is the handle. You just open the handle up. And then just place everything right in there. Right in there. Um, I think the stabilizer needs to be in there. You guys can hoop your um, water, water soluble or you guys just place it on top. I just like to place it on top. I'm making sure that it actually catch the whole stabilizer. So be, cause you can't not see it at the bottom so you gotta make sure. And just clamp it down there. It's super sturdy now. Oh, and by the way, I have to flip the design because the name needs to face this top and not this side, okay? Because it's going to be upside down. So you gotta flip your design. So let's flip it. There we go, just flip it and now you wanna use the camera again. I'm gonna use a live camera again to check if the image is within the markings that I drew. Okay, just scoot it. So now it's right above the mark. And then I'm gonna test this side. And yep, the D is right on the mark. I'm just using the live camera feature that I showed you guys earlier. Just to make sure everything. Oh, one thing is, I forgot to do something, okay? So, to make it easier, I forgot that you need to make sure this is this is inside out, okay? Because it looks like it's getting caught over here. So you can just, yeah, it needs to be inside out. Inside out, okay? So this could be hanging and then the whole thing could go under the arm of the machine. So let's test it out now. Okay, now it's not catching anything. Okay, I have rooms to wiggle around. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's how you hoop, hoop it. I just forgot this step. So make sure you always uh, t make it inside out, turn it inside out. And then I'm gonna cut a piece of water soluble. I just place it on top like that, nothing fancy. And I need to change my thread, so I'm using the white because the cuff is white. So I only like to get the one with the white cuff, okay, <laughs> to do the knockdown stitch because it's hard to match the color if the knockdown, if the cuff is not white. So it's easier it's white, so I just use white. And I'm using red thread, so I already have the red thread up there. I'm just going to hit OK, and then I'm just going to hit embroidery, locked, and then embroidery. So you guys can see it, it's embroidery right now. So I'm going to use my hand to hold this down a little bit. 
because I don't want the white soluble to remove. This is a really fast stitch out. It only takes 10 minutes to do the personalization. And if the kid has a really long name, um, you have to use a size font smaller. This is 1.5 inch um, tall. So I would not recommend 1.5. Uh, make sure that the font that you buy has various size, okay? From half inch, uh, three quarter, one inch, one inch and one quarter and 1.5. Because for kids that have longer names, they're gonna have, their fonts gonna be smaller and you have to let the customer know that. And plus you have to limit the, the character, the character count. So for example, my daughter has 13 letters. They will not fit in that hoop. So I would only um, allow characters up to 10. Probably nine or eight, you know, because my uh, my other daughter, her name has six, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, yeah, she has eight. And it was like the whole hoop size. But I just shrink down the the name a little bit to fit. So I would say probably eight and nine will be your maximum character. Unless if they have a 10 letter name, um, they're gonna risk it by having a smaller name on the, on the um, stocking. And I would only let them do just first name only because I know some, I've been getting some customers been putting two names for personalization. So they have to go back to my listing and only say, they can only put first name with characters up to 10 or nine or 10 around there. I think with nine it's doable, but then you have to shrink the, Font it a little bit, you know, to make it fit. So, enjoy the rest of the clip, you guys. So you guys, it's finished 
and bordering. So all I have to do is just um, move the handle up and then just take everything out. It will look like this. Make sure you put the handle back down. So now you guys are completely done. And all you have to do is just spray this with a little bit of water. So I'm going to remove as much of this as possible and then the backing. Just tear it out. That's it, you guys. And then let's use a spray bottle. So keep this and I'll show you guys how to re remove um, them off of your project, the water soluble. So you just need to spray with water, just like that, dab it. So you see all the marking coming off. And then you guys can use these leftover or sol soluble, just pick it up. You guys do this, you guys can pick up a lot of the um, you guys can pick pick it up if there's anything sticking up. Since this is not going to be washed, just clear it off of the, as much as you guys can. And then use a towel to, to rub it so you clear most of the water, dry most of it off. And you guys just let it air dry until it dries. Then you can um, send it to the customer. <laughs> So that's it you guys, it's all done. And you guys can do this with um, HTV too if you guys don't have an embroidery machine. I think with HTV you guys can make the name like wider because you don't, you're not restricted by the size of the hoop, you know? So the name could be like big. Or it could be longer with HTV, but I like the look of the embroidery more. But I think this is fine too with the size. But if the name is long, um, it probably will not be two inch tall, so it probably be like one and a half. So the name might be um, sm shorter, unless um, you can pull it up. No, I think you can like um, you can like sh shorten this and then leave it like as like two inch wide like that, and then shrink it down. So you have to play with a lot of adjusting and umbrellas. So if you guys gonna do this, you guys need umbrellas and enthusiasts, and you guys have to adjust the font to fit your frame. Okay, so that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching and remember to like the video and hit that bell notification so you guys can see what I upload next and subscribe you guys. Thank you so much for you know helping me get this far in my YouTube endeavor. So I appreciate every single one of you guys for always being here and being supportive of me and it made me more excited and excited to bring you guys more content and share you guys like projects and you know Etsy stuff so anyways take care you guys bye <music>